Good day everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we're going to prove geometric properties using coordinate proof. This will be part one. And in this lesson, we shall apply coordinate proof to prove properties of some geometric figures on the coordinate plane. We will be focusing on the use of this distance formula, the midpoint formula, and the slope of the line. So this will be just a practice on how to use this these formulas in solving some geometric properties. Later, on the next videos, we are going to prove some geometric properties on point. So for the first problem, find the slope of the diagonals of the rhombus cell. So this is the diagonals of the rhombus. So what we're going to do is to find uh, the slope of this line. So we're going to first to fill out what's the missing coordinate here. So this will be so the distance from the y-axis to this is a and the distance from this one is to this one is l. So this is rhombus, so these two are equal and parallel. So this will be a plus b. So that's the measurement of that. Now let's try to, let's first solve the the slope of L and A. So that is B comma C and A comma 0. So let's assign points. So this will be our point 1 and point 2. That's why X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2. So let's write this slope formula. And next is the, we need to substitute our values that we have. So for Y sub 2, we have 0 minus C and A minus B. Let's simplify it. Then we have our slope of line 1. For the slope of line 2, we have uh, 0 comma 0 and a plus b comma c. So again, let's identify points. So now we have our points identified. Let's use the slope formula. Let's substitute and let's simplify it further. Okay, now we have our slope for number oh, for line two. In proving some geometric properties, we somehow we somehow compare the slope of this one to prove it if it is parallel or if it is perpendicular. But we will not do it here. We, we will do it on the next video for you to see. We'll, we'll just focus on practicing how to use these this, this formulas in this video. So, okay, let us see our next question. Find the length of the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid OILB. So, again, let's first check what is the... What is the measurement of this? So from this from this point to this point, we have the A as our the measurement of this one is A, A units. So since this is an isosceles trapezoid, these two are congruent to each other. So we could just minus the distance of this point to Y axis to A. So that's why the, our coordinates for this one is A comma B. Now let's find the slope of bi. So let's assign points on this one, point 1 and point 2. Let's do the, oh, no, we need to find the length, not the slope, I'm sorry. We'll be using the distance formula. So so, so one one properties of an isosceles trapezoid, it, it is it has a an congruent, a congruent congruent diagonals. So hopefully we could prove it here that the diagonals are congruent with our uh, with our coordinates. Okay, now so let's try for bi, the length of bi. So let's substitute x sub 2 and x sub 1. That is a minus b. Then y sub 2, that is 0 minus c in this formula. Let's simplify it further. So let's simplify it further because if we square this, we're going to get c squared. So this will be our distance of, it's actually mp, it's bi. Okay, so I just change the variable here. I'm sorry for that, for that, some mistakes. So that's the distance between b and i. Now let's go to ol. So we have 0 comma 0 and a minus b comma c. So let's just again assign point. This will be our point 1 and our point 2. So next of it is we're going to write the distance formula. Let's substitute all the values that we have. So a minus b minus 0. 
and C minus 0. So if we're going to simplify it, we'll have this one and this one. So as you can see, it is it has the same distance, diagonal has the same distance, so or the same length. So that's it. Find the slope of the diagonal of each diagonal in the rhombus kite. So here we're going to find the we're going to find the diagonal of the uh, the slope of the diagonal of each diagonal of the rhombus kite. Now, uh, in this in this problem, we need first to find what is the value of these unknown coordinates. So to to do that, we need to think of the properties of this figure. We know that this is a rhombus. Now, a rhombus has four equal sides. So we can we can see here that the side of here that this one measures 20. Okay? So this one as well measures 20 because this is a rhombus. So now what we're going to do is to find uh, this missing this missing coordinates using our given. So let's find the measurement of TI. So we know that TI, this one, this length, measures 20 units. So all we need to do is to substitute the, the values that we have. So we don't have the value of the x coordinate of T. So that's why we use the variable x. Let's identify what point 1 and point 2. So this will be point 1 and point 2. Now to find the measurement of the, the, length of the distance of DI or the length of DI, we will be using the distance formula. Now we know that the distance of, D, of TI is 20. So that's why we substitute 20 here. Then we substitute 20 to x sub 2 and x to x sub 1 because we don't know the value of that. So, z, so y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that is 0 minus 16. So let's simplify it further. So our goal here is to, to find the value of x. Now we need to eliminate this radical symbol. So we can do that by squaring both sides. If we square both sides, we could cancel this out. And we will be having this equation. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. I already expounded first before I'll be doing that. So that's why that's how I do it. Then let's subtract 256 on both sides. Just to single out this x. So we'll be having this as our answer. Now let's let's eliminate this one this is squared we can do that by by getting the square root of both sides so we cancel this out and the square root of 144 has two values negative and positive 12 so that would give us two values of x here so we just arrange the equation in such a way that this, the x will be single out then we will separate the equation into two so 20 plus 12 is 32 and 20 minus 12 is 8. Now, one of these is an extraneous uh, answer. So this one is extraneous. We cannot put the value of 8 here uh, because we know that from this point to this point is 20. So we should get a number greater than 20. So we have the Rx equal to 32. So now that we have the value of x 32, we could just subtract 20 to 32 and we will get this as 12. The value of here is 12. Now we can now compute for the slope of each diagonal. Let's get the slope of E, EI first. So assign point values, point 0.1, point 0.2. Then let's use the slope formula. Substitute the given that we have, 0 minus 16 and 20 minus 12. That gives us 60, negative 16 over 8 or negative 2. On the other hand, let's have 32 comma 16 or T and k 0 comma 0 so let's just substitute the given that we have 0 minus 16 over 0 minus 32 that gives us 60 negative 16 minus over negative 32 that is negative and uh, that is one half so that's the slope of the diagonals of the rhombus kite now find the lengths of a e and c e in the parallelogram a b c d now to answer this, we need first to find the coordinates of E. We'll be using the midpoint formula to find the coordinates of this one. Uh, but first, there is a missing 
there's a missing coordinates. So we can solve this by adding 2, 2B and 2C. So that will be our coordinates for that. 2B plus 2C comma 2D because they have the same value of Y coordinates. Okay, now let's use let's use these points into answering into getting the coordinates of this one let's have 2c plus 2b and 2d plus 0 so you will have this one let's simplify it further we have c plus b comma d so that's the that is the coordinate of, of, of the midpoint you can you also use this one and this one to find the midpoint of this and you will be getting the same answer okay now let's find the distance of AE. So AE is 0, 0 and and C plus B comma D. So C plus B comma D minus 0 and D minus 0 is equivalent to C plus B squared plus D squared. And that is the that is the measurement of e, AE. Now let's go to CE same method so this one minus this one okay then this one minus this one so we have this one so cancel this so combine like terms to c minus c is c to b minus b is b and we have this one so as you can see they have the same they have the same lengths because we e is the midpoint of this segment okay that's all for this this tutorial this is part one of the uh, proving proving proper geometric properties using coordinate proof we will be having more complex example on the next video so bye for now